Sorry again, the last question. It's this that I have to do first right here because it's inside the brackets. So I'm gonna go three fifths plus negative two thirds times, I'm gonna change this to multiplication because three, four times negative two over one. I know this two goes into itself once, it goes into four twice, um, and then you cannot reduce anymore. And you're multiplying these two, you have negative times negative is gonna be positive, so this is just gonna be three over two here. And then three fifths plus negative two thirds. times three halves. Now we have to do this, order of operations tell me to do multiplication first. And the two is gonna go into itself once, it's gonna go into itself once, so they, basically they're gonna cancel each other out right across. And what I have now, I have three fifths. And this is, um, sorry, I'm just gonna, is this so it doesn't confuse us there. So that's right there. Um, this is just one times one, one times one. So it's just going to be three fifths plus negative one. Um, I'm going to write three fifths minus one over one because I said, as I said earlier, when you have a plus and a minus right there. In this format, you just change it into one sign and it's gonna be three fifths minus um, one over one, which gives me, I do a common denominator and the common denominator is five. Five divided by five is one times three is three. And minus, of course, five divided by one is five times one is five, and therefore three minus five is two, negative two fifths. So the final answer is negative two fifths. That's how you do fractions involving order of operations. Till next time, see you soon.